This year, I'm gonna buy a bunch of lawn tools so I can have a nice lawn. 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 All it takes is an idea. I want to improve the overall look of my lawn. It's a simple statement, and I think it's fair to say that we've all said it at one point in our lives or another. So you hop on YouTube, and you're all excited, but you find out that lawn care tools and gadgets are crazy expensive. In today's video, I'm going to show you all the DIY lawn tools that I've made to help save you money, and to get the same results that you see the pros get. So don't go anywhere, we're starting right now. All right, so welcome back to another video, guys. Today, I'm gonna help you save a bunch of money. But first, if you're new here, I am the Lawn Daddy, and this is Small Town Lawns, where I help you improve the overall look of your lawn. And on my channel, I'm gonna share with you lawn care tips that you can use to take your lawn and make it the talk of the neighborhood. So make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below and hit that bell so you don't miss any future content. So it's springtime now and many of you are just starting to get outside to start some spring cleanup. And with the nicer weather, many of you are telling yourself that this year you really want to improve the overall look of your lawn. I really like where your head's at. The sun is shining, the temperatures are warming up, and you start to get real excited about improving your lawn this season. But maybe you don't know where to start. So you hop on YouTube and you start to see things like soil test and lawn leveling and lawn striping. And before long, you start to feel overwhelmed at how much money it's gonna take to improve your lawn. Are you nodding along to everything I've said so far? Yeah, you in the back, I'm talking to you. I can see you doing this. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the five lawn care tools that I've built and we're gonna put them to the test. And I'm gonna show you that it doesn't have to be expensive to get the same look and results as the pros get. So let's start saving you some money and get ready to DIY. All right, so before we get started here, I just wanted to mention that for each lawn tool I'm showing you, I'm gonna be putting the original video and linking it up into the eye in the corner. Each one of these videos is more of a step-by-step -step guide showing you how to build the tools, and it also shows you the parts and measurements that you'll need. So make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment down below if you've DIY'd your own lawn tools. All right, so let's get right into this video. Now, the first lawn tool that I wanna show you is one of my favorites. It was super easy to build and I was blown away at how well it worked. Now, since the original video, I've made a slight modification to it. Uh, I'm gonna show you that here in a second. But if you really want your lawn to stand out and pop, you're gonna need a striping kit. So, since the original video, I've only done two minor modifications to the striping kit. The first thing I did uh, when I first started using it, you could hear the gravel moving around. So I filled in all that empty space with sand. Um, it added uh, actually uh, about five pounds of weight to it, which made a huge difference. So the second modification that I did is right here. Um, I chose to mount this striping kit right to the frame. Um, in the original video, I had the kit mounted to the flap and it was just held on with two really small screws. And the first time I used it, it, it moved around a lot. So I actually took the flap right off and I just took some bolts and put it right through the holes for that flap and bolted it right to the frame. And it made a huge difference with stability and uh, the actual overall strength of the kit. And that's it guys, it was really easy to build and it was really cheap to build also. So I know you all are dying to see it work. I know I am too, so let's get in the line. All right, so there you go, a DIY striping kit for under $40. 
So, moving on to my next DIY lawn tool, it's something that everyone needs in their lawn. And there's a countless number of options that you can choose from. If you want to keep your lawn green throughout the summer months, you're going to need to buy a sprinkler and water your lawn. Most people will buy a standard oscillating sprinkler, and there's nothing wrong with that. They work just fine. I mean, they've stood the test of time. How many of you remember being a kid and your parents had one in your yard? The only problem with an oscillating sprinkler is if your property is big enough, you have to move it about four or five times to cover your entire lawn. So that may lead you into your next option, which could be putting in an in-ground sprinkler system. But these can run extremely expensive. I mean, just saying it out loud, it sounds expensive. So I decided to do the next best thing, and I decided to DIY my own version of an above-ground sprinkler system. And I gotta tell you how amazed I was at how well it actually worked. So let me show you what I used and then we'll get it out into the lawn. All right, so here we have the Hunter Pro Base sprinkler head. Now this is an in-ground sprinkler head, but I've modified it so we can use it above the ground. Now what this does is have a four inch pop-up and you put on this MP rotator head. Now what this one does, you can see the colors blue. This one will spray from anywhere from 20 to 30 feet. So that'll give you a lot of coverage on your lawn. And then what you do is you put a little riser here and you put on a sprinkler spike. Now I modified this from my original video and what I did was I put some quick connects on here and it makes it a lot easier when you string three or four of these together and it also makes the cleanup a lot easier too. So let's get it out in the lawn and I'll show you how quick and easy this setup is. A DIY above ground sprinkler system made easy. String three or four of the Hunter Pro Spray sprinkler heads together for a quick way to water your lawn. Moving on to my next DIY lawn tool is one that I built all the way back in January. It's my DIY lawn leveling tool. And I'm excited to say in the last couple months, my video has really started to take off, reaching just over 18,000 views now. If you have an uneven lawn, leveling it out can be a gigantic task. Sure, you could use a rake, but your best bet is to use a leveling tool. Now, they can run pretty expensive. Well, actually, they run extremely expensive. So, I decided to build my own. I used PVC pipes, I built a large one, and I built a small one, depending on the job I want to use it for. So, let's get it out in the lawn and put it to the test. So, just like my DIY lawn striping kit, I added a few modifications to my lawn leveling tool. So what I did is I made the overall width smaller and I added four cross members here to make sure that that topsoil gets leveled out nice and even. Man, I gotta tell you, I've been wanting to use that leveling tool since I built it back in January. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed at how well it worked. Now I will say that the PVC handle did flex a little bit at times when I was using it, but overall, was really impressed at how easy it was to use and how well it leveled out that little section of lawn there. So I'm gonna put it through an even bigger test in the fall when I level out my whole front yard. But for now, I'm really impressed at how easy it was to use. With only two DIY lawn tools left to show you, I'd like to do a real quick recap to show you how much money you can save by building them yourself. So the first lawn tool that I showed you was a DIY lawn striping kit. 
And I gotta tell you, I'm still absolutely blown away at how well this DIY tool worked. But I think you're gonna be even more blown away when you find out how much money you can save by building it yourself. If you go on Amazon, you can find that striping kits will range anywhere from $100 to well over $250, depending on the size of your mower. But I can tell you, for a standard 22 inch mower, the materials that I used only cost me under $40. And remember guys, that's Canadian dollars. I don't know about you, but a savings of well over $50, you can't go wrong by building it yourself. The second tool that I showed you was my DIY sprinkler set. I used the Hunter Pro Spray sprinkler head with an MP3000 rotating head. I also added some quick connects so I can quickly and easily string up three or four of these sprinkler heads together to get full coverage on my lawn. Now yes, my sprinkler system will cost more than a standard oscillating sprinkler. But the amount of time that you're gonna save for not having to move the oscillating sprinkler around your lawn three or four times, I can tell you it's the best sprinkler that I ever bought and it didn't break the bank. And finally, one of my favorite DIY lawn tools was my lawn leveling tool. And I gotta tell you, I was pretty stoked at how well it worked. And I'm really glad that I added those cross members in because it really helped with spreading that soil around. Now, if you go and search on Amazon, you'll find that these lawn leveling tools can cost anywhere from $150 or higher. I'm telling you, before I built this tool, I went on Amazon and I couldn't believe how expensive a simple lawn leveling tool was. But the lawn leveling tool that I built only cost me $40. And that right there, it's well worth the time and effort to build it yourself and get the same results as the pros. So before we move on to our fourth and fifth tool, make sure you smash that like button if you like saving money and make sure you leave a comment down below if you've built any of the lawn tools that I've mentioned below. And you can direct message me on Instagram and send me some pictures. Now moving on to our fourth and fifth lawn tool, it's where we save even more money. If you remember back at the start of the video, I mentioned words like soil test. If you really want your lawn to stand out, I highly recommend doing a soil test, as it's the only way you're really gonna know what your lawn needs to stand out amongst your neighborhood. Now, in order to effectively do a soil test, you need to pull a few cores so you can break up the material and send it off to be analyzed. In order to pull these cores, you use a tool called a soil probe. What you do is you stick that tool into the ground and you extract a few cores, you break up the material and send it off to be analyzed. Now, again, if you did what I did, you can go on Amazon to use the same soil probe that the pros use, but you're gonna find out real quick that these tools cost well over $50. So I decided to build my own, and what if I told you that it cost me less than $10 to build? This here is the soil probe that I built. Now I grab some three quarter inch PVC pipe and I grab one T connector and that's all you need. I'll put the lengths and the measurements in the description below if you wanna build this for yourself, but you can see how simple this tool is and it only cost me less than 10 bucks. But I can guarantee you it works exactly like the ones the pros use. And finally, Coming in at number five and the last DIY lawn tool that I have to show you is one that I looked up on YouTube myself and I gotta tell you, I wasn't really sure if it was gonna work or not. So I went out and bought the few materials that were needed for it and I couldn't tell you how excited I was when it worked. If you've ever changed the oil on your lawnmower, you know how much time it can take and how difficult it can be if you've never done it before. Well, this year was the first year that I changed the oil in my lawnmower, and I really wasn't sure how I wanted to tackle it. You gotta lift your lawnmower up, or tip it over, let all the oil drain out, it can be messy, it can be time consuming, and if you don't do it properly, you can hurt yourself in the process. So, I went on YouTube, and I found a really quick and a really cool way to take the oil out of your lawnmower. Now, if you're anything like me, your first reaction is gonna be, this thing is silly, there's no way it's gonna work. But as you're gonna see here in a minute, I couldn't believe how quick and easy it actually was. So let me show you what I built. The first thing that you're gonna need is a shot back. Next, you're gonna wanna take the top portion of a two liter bottle of pop and cut it off. But make sure you leave the cap on because you're gonna need it. Next, you're gonna need a regular old mason jar. You're gonna wanna drill two holes into the top of the mason jar and the same size hole into the cap on the pop bottle. And finally, you're gonna take some poly tubing like you see here and stick it into all three holes and stick one end into the lawnmower. 
Now, like I told you earlier, it looks like a really silly way to take the oil out of your lawnmower. But three, two, one. Watching this in action again, I still can't believe how well it worked. And for never changing the oil on my lawnmower before, I really wasn't sure how I wanted to tackle it. So finding this on YouTube, it saved me a lot of time and it saved me a lot of money in the end. So DIY lawn tools, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Well, if you ask me, it not only saves you time, but it also saves you a whole lot of money in the long run. And there's nothing more satisfying than building something yourself and saving a whole lot of money. In this video, we've talked a lot about the DIY lawn tools that you can make to help maintain your lawn. But what if I told you that it takes more than having the right lawn tool to have a green and healthy lawn? Check out the video here on the screen where I show you how to prevent dandelions and crabgrass from completely running rampant throughout your lawn. Go ahead, watch the video. It's only 11 minutes long. Did you see any dandelions or crabgrass in my lawn? No, why? I watched the video. Go ahead, check it out.